Welcome to a brief overview and demonstration of CCE ConfigLink. ConfigLink is a design automation software that dramatically reduces the time to generate custom designs for highly configurable product families. Using ConfigLink, new design configurations can be created in a fraction of the time it would normally take for the engineering department to remaster the data. The result is a 3D model of the new design variant and associated 2D drawings which essentially forms the core of any configure-to-order or engineer-to-order process. ConfigLink's layout is simple yet powerful. A menu bar, toolbar, and the work environment. ConfigLink is comprised of two independent modules, Author Master Design and Create Config. In a multi-user environment, the minimum requirement is one Author Master Design module to author the design. Multiple installations of the Create Config module can be used as needed. For the following demonstration, both modules are installed on the same workstation. The Author Master Design module is intended to be used by a senior design engineer who is very familiar with the parts and assembly and associated relationships. All of the core configurable dimensions and key rules are established using this module. As you will see later during this demonstration, the Create Config module is intended to be used by a junior design engineer, resulting in a lower cost, efficient design solution. We will now use a simple actuator design to demonstrate the power of ConfigLink. This design was created using a top-down approach which makes the assembly highly configurable. We have selected three core dimensions for this example. The stroke and bore of the cylinder and the diameter of the actuator rod. These are typical variables you would see in a manufacturer's catalog for actuators. The first step in the process is to check the configurability rating of the assembly. We will first need to select the appropriate icon on the toolbar. Next, we'll select the top level assembly file. The results are displayed based on four defining parameters. Reference geometry, assembly constraints, parametric components, and relations. The net configurability rating shows an overall average of the four previously mentioned parameters. In our example, we are only concerned with the assembly and ours has a configurability rating of 90%. The higher the rating, the more configurable your design will be. It's important to note that ConfigLink requires the native CAD software, SolidWorks in this instance, to be running in the background. Now let's bring up the Author Master Design module and begin the process of authoring our design. Once selected, a dialog box pops up allowing us to select our assembly. Using the ConfigLink wizard, we will complete the five steps necessary to create an authored design. A demo is provided on the right side of the screen for easy reference. Click Next and we see a list of all of the components and the assembly displayed along with their status, authored or unauthored. Since we selected the assembly file initially, it is automatically selected. You have the option to select individual components as well. This gives the user the ability to control dimensions on a particular component that is not linked back to the main assembly. Even though it is not required in our example, We'll select all of the components so you will be able to see the additional options available in subsequent steps. In this step, we see a screen displaying parameters and properties. Core values are in essence the values used to control new design configurations. In our example, we will select the cylinder bore, actuator rod, and stroke. Key dimensions are used by ConfigLink to validate changes in the models and reflect those changes back in the drawings. We'll select all dimensions as key so changes are directly reflected back in all drawings where appropriate. The 
This step allows the user to define each parameter. A choice of formats is displayed with options the user can select from, such as a list, a range including increments, or a range with a set number of values. For the bore, we'll select a range of minimum and maximum values, including a step increment. Typically these values are set by engineering and reflect considerations such as desired product offerings and manufacturability. Parameters for the actuator rod will be similar to the bore, except in this case we will omit the step increment. We will use the list option to establish the parameters for the stroke. This is accomplished by inputting multiple values that will become discrete selections when we run the create config module. The final step will be to add any support files that will be associated to new configurations, such as drawings. Once the files have been added, select finish. ConfigLink will save all of your configuration information in the native CAD file. Once saved, ConfigLink displays a summary page giving the user the ability to review all of the input and status information. Modifications can be made on the final configuration at any time. Now we're ready to move on to the Create Config module. Please note that once the design has been authored, a junior design engineer can use the Create Config module to generate multiple design configurations. When we click the Create Config icon, a dialog box opens allowing us to select our assembly file. The opening screen displays our three core parameters available for modification. Ranges and options are shown to the right of the base values as well as a list of all drawings. modify our three core parameters to create a new configuration. Once our values have been entered, we select Create Configuration. The option box appears giving the user the opportunity to select such things as a target folder, a configuration identifier, and renaming the output components. When we select OK, the new configuration will be generated. Progress is displayed in a window located in the lower left corner of the Create Config window. Once the new configuration has been created, a dialog box appears showing the status of our drawings. This is where we have the option to create updated drawings with or without part numbers. When the new configuration and drawings have been created, a summary page is displayed, highlighting various details and statistics. As you can see in the new design configuration, the stroke has been increased to 34 inches, the actuator rod diameter reduced to 1 inch, and the diameter of the bore has been reduced to 4 inches. Next, we'll open the modified drawing file. As you can see, the new drawing has been updated successfully. As we've shown in this demonstration, CCE Config Link is powerful and versatile and has many advantages over using embedded automation tools such as design tables within SolidWorks. To name a few, Config Link is designed on a modular architecture. A senior design engineer authors the master design while a junior design engineer creates configurations. This modular architecture leads to an efficient use of manpower resources and doesn't require high-level CAD skills to create complex new designs. Once the design is authored, it is secure. Values outside of the parameters set within the Author Master Design module cannot be made. Another key advantage is that configuration information is embedded in the native CAD file. This ensures the information is stored where it can easily be found. Drawings are automatically updated as new configurations are created a distinct advantage over using design tables. On average, we've observed a 40% gain in production relative to using design tables. ConfigLink provides powerful tools such as the ability to search for family parts and assemblies as well as identify design conflicts. Currently, there are four major CAD applications supported. 
SolidWorks, Solid Edge, ProEngineer, and Inventor. Thank you for your time and attention.